Hi everyone, I'm developing this uh, brief tutorial to step you through a process um, that will help you create your poster um, using uh, icon art from the Noun Project. So the Noun Project is a database of user-made uh, icon uh, vector graphics. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can search for there. And um, the Noun Project is basically at that same URL um, as the name of it, thenounproject.com. And um, you can log in with, uh, you create, simply create an account. Uh, it's all free. And uh, when you download an image, uh, you'll see that you have a couple of options. So right now I'm at the Noun Project website. Um, what I'm going to do is search for an icon. I'm going to download that icon to uh, my uh, desktop and then um, open it in Vector, which I'll show you a little bit about in a moment and show you how to manipulate the file um, to change its color or shape, its position um, in the frame, and, and then how to basically um, take that adjusted uh, vector icon art and uh, implement it into your position as you wish. wish. Okay, so, okay, so I'm in the Noun Project, project and, and uh, uh, this, this, I'm going to step through a process, process that, that uh, you know, you know, basically, basically suits the class, class that you're, you're taking, taking right, right now. now. So I'm going, going to uh, search, search for icons, icons that say, uh, uh, let's, let's use the word sting. sting. You'll see, the, see that this, this, uh, this uh, tag, tag recalls, recalls several, several associated images, everything, everything from jellyfish, jellyfish to bees, um, uh, hypodermic needles, needles, and, you know, all variety, variety of things. things. Uh, Stingrays. Sting let's, let's see. So we so just, we just want, want to find a simple, um, a simple image. image. Let's, let's maybe go, go with one, one of this, this, this particular, particular bee. bee. So this, so this is, is called, called Bee by, by Janet, Janet Kordahi. Kordahi. And when and you when mouse you over down, download, you'll see that it gives, gives you kind of a, a just a sort, sort of slider, slider effect. effect. Um, the, um, first the first thing I want to call your attention, attention to, because you're going to be also building, building a kind of a bibliographic record of any icon images you use in your poster. You're going, You're going to want to, to um, keep track, track of the URL and, and the identifying, identifying information, information for this icon. icon. Because, because you're using, using a version, version of it requires attribution, attribution or, giving or giving credit, credit to the person who made, made it. it. And, and the easiest, easiest way I think you can, can capture, capture that, that data, data that kind of that, that tag, tag information, information on, um, who created, created it, is to click, click on this share icon. icon. And then and you can really, I guess, pick any one of these, but I'll just Twitter. And when it pops up, it gives, it gives me, me in a fairly, fairly succinct, succinct form, form uh, the name, name of the person who made it, um, the name, name of the icon, icon which is B, B and then the URL where I can find that. that. Now, I, I need to make, make a few minor changes, changes to that to, to, to formalize the citation, but that's, but that's the best, best way to copy and paste, paste the citation information for the icon, uh, the icon graphic, graphic um, for, for, for later, later kind of uh, lookup. Okay, so I've done that. The next thing I'm going to do is click on this download. And it, and it gives me two, two options, options now. A PNG, PNG file, file. These are just different file types. It's a PNG, PNG file. It's going to be a certain graphic, graphic type, type um, which will be relevant to you later. But for now, because you want to change it uh, around, you want to drop, drop, download the vector, the vector version, version, which is this SCG, SCG file. So, so this SCG file, just, just click on download, download and, and it's going to give you two options, Creative Commons or Royalty Free. And I think you want the Creative Commons option. It'll give you the choice to save it to your desktop. Which I'll, I'll do. do. And, and I've just, just done, done that. I've completed the process with the Noun Project to obtain that graphic and to have a copy of it on my desktop. desktop. All right, right. Now, now what I want, I want to do with that is switch to a second um, website called Vector, V E C T R.com. Vector is a, a website, a sort of a platform within which I can edit um, and make minor changes to that graphic. And, and those changes will be very simply to remove. The name, so I have a kind of a pure um, iconic image, and then also to change around some of the color scheme. Um, and you need to have quite a bit of flexibility with that. So the thing that I want to do here is go to a new file. And then I'm going to upload an image. Scroll down until I find the one that I just downloaded. Okay. And that should match, so it's the B icon. I'm going to click on these elements to remove them. And then I'm going to highlight the entire B image, slide it down just slightly more um, centered in the pane, 
or sort of the frame. And now I have options of making other adjustments to, for example, the color scheme. So if I want to change the color of this, I can uh, click on this um, background color selector and slide until I find something that I like. And I'm going to go with just sort of a bright, maybe a bright pink, something with high contrast. All right, so now I change the color of this B to um, kind of a, a hot pink, bright pink. And now what I want to do is, is save this version of it back to my desktop. So whereas before I chose upload image, this time I want to export. When I click on export, it shows me the image as I'll be exporting it. It gives me options to choose the size. If you feel like you need a larger image, the nice thing about a vector image is that you can size that to um, uh, sort of higher dimensions and it will um, keep its integrity. Now you'll notice here uh, a couple of format options. And this is an important, uh, an important point. You can save it as an SVG file, which would be the same sort of file that you uploaded, but that would not port well into PowerPoint. You could save it as a JPEG, but if you do that, notice what a JPEG wants to do is to fill in the entire block with uh, color information. And so you don't have a transparency option with a JPEG image. If you choose a PNG image, a PNG image is in many respects similar to um, a JPEG with the exception that you have this uh, transparency option. And by transparency, I mean that you can see the, um, the B uh, shape without any kind of border or edge around it. So that's the one I want. The PNG option is the one I want here when I'm in Vector. And I'm going to click on Download. I'll save it to my desktop as B. OK, and so I have that set aside, art ready to work with. I'm going to flip to a kind of a mock-up of a poster that I've created in PowerPoint, just a demo poster. And I'm going to take that uh, PNG file and drag and drop it right into that slide which is also, again, the template for my poster. I have sizing options here just by grabbing and pulling the corner. I can rotate it by grabbing the green button on the top of the, at the top of the um, selector. And then I can position it as I wish in the um, poster space. So with those few steps, you have essentially uh, an approach to both locating icon graphic art using the noun project, um, downloading and uh, making changes to that icon art in uh, Vector, and then incorporating that um, uh, the customized Vector art into your uh, PowerPoint, your, your um, infographic poster that you're working on for class. If you have any questions about this, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to uh, elaborate on any of these steps.